episode two. You, so you turn around here, will you? So you want to spend the, your summer vacation in Transylvania? Well, you, you go here, you get to Romania, you make a left. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> didn't know you were here. Analogies, you know what they are? I told you about them last week, or whenever you saw me last. This is analogy number two. So listen, please, Norristown, hi, how you doing? Look at the relationships. Analogies are relationships that exist between words. Ah. Nectar, B. Now look at five choices. Five. Net, fish. Chocolate, cocoa. Sunlight, plant. Hive, house. Bird, insect. Two seconds to think of a bridge word that connects nectar and bee. Look at the bee up here. He wants that nectar in there, inside that flower. You got two seconds. One, two. You didn't think of one. Yeah, you did. Mr. Bones, can you help us? Give us a connecting word that bridges nectar and bee. Mr. Bones, you're paying attention. Mr. Bones. Hey, Mr. Bones, <laughs> welcome to the real world. OK, look, feeds. You got feeds. Nectar feeds a bee. A net feeds a fish? I don't think so. Does chocolate feed cocoa? Mm, no. Does sunlight feeds plant? Aye, that's possible. Does hive feed a house? No. Does bird feed an insect? You know what the answer is, boys and girls. Number three, C, because sunlight feeds a plant. So the correct answer in that multiple choice item is C. Nectar feeds B, sunlight feeds plant. Mr. Bones and I will see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>